<laughs> Poor son of a bitch doesn't have a turning sprite. No, it does. That's part of the glitch. Pawn. I, pawn, I killed student. Eh, a witch. I can use it now. I believe it's in... Yeah, student witch. You can throw cats at things. I have a cat <laughs> butt in now. Okay, the funny thing is, because before I read the text, like I had said, all of the different souls, some of them function as sub-weapons because the cat runs across the ground. The cat is this game's equivalent to the holy water, so the cat's actually pretty good, because I believe it does deal multiple hits of damage as it runs. Hey, uh, you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. Oh, I am definitely him! <laughs> yes, but who are you? Oh, forgive me, I'm uh, Yoko Bonanes. I'm a, a member of the church. Uh, uh, how would I, a uh, member of uh, the a church recognize me? You, uh, me, uh, um, I mean, Ginya Aracardo. Ginya Aracardo, damn it! <laughs> right? I did meet him, but uh, he uh, told me about me. And at that point, that's the point where the game is just slapping you, is it? Asked uh, uh, me to uh, help you if you were in trouble. Oh, hard uh, said that. It's uh, hard to believe. Oh, well, he uh, may seem uh, cold at first, but he's actually uh, quite a decent guy. Uh, he may be looking out for you because you uh, share the same dark powers. <laughs> well, I, uh, did you uh, say my powers are dark? <coughs> oh, uh, you mean, uh, you didn't know that? Uh, oh, no, did I, uh, say something? Uh, well, what's sad is, uh, sad. Yoko out, peace. Just, uh, can start that moonwalking out. <clears throat> Actually, you have the, uh, Essentially. You have the power to, uh, rule over and command monsters. Rule over and command monsters, I have no desire to do that. It comes, uh... A uh, natural way is uh, breathing for uh, you fine dining and, and breathing. breathing. Uh, so you may not realize it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and although I call it oh, a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. It's like uh, a weapon. It's user to uh, use it for good or evil. Uh, well, <laughs> when you uh, put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Since I, I got this power, I began to lose my sense of self. Yeah, you are yourself. There's uh, no one else you could be. Uh, don't second guess yourself, uh, but be confident. That's more important. I, I think I understand now. Thanks, Jones. Oh, kiggle. I'm uh, uh, not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I, for a guy to ask, have you seen a man named Graham? Um, yes, I met him earlier. Uh, be aware of uh, that man. I believe that uh, he uh, will inherit Dracula's power. And uh, no, no way he did. Uh, uh, it looked like a, a bad a guy. So he's a, a suit-wearing character in a Japanese-made game. That means he is probably a villain. Uh, right. Uh, 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 uh. No, don't be uh, fooled by uh, his appearance. He's uh, not who you think he is. All right. Well, I must get uh, going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. Well, I was going to say, and I didn't say it earlier, just as a shit post, every character you meet just starts fast da fat dashing like Alucard. <laughs> oh, basically. No, instead of turning around and leaving, everyone just back See, it, uh, it does eventually turn around. Need a, uh, need a better range weapon. I think this is doing okay. Yeah, that, that does okay if I... <laughs> it can get them really far away, because, like, something you'll all notice because of having potions and shit in this uh, a game, other other than having save points able to heal you, you, like, the game never drops healing items. The only yeah. healing items you have are consumables, or again, a save point. 
So as this game uh, goes on and things get higher uh, level, I can't be as careless. Not a single mysterious wall chicken or pot roast to be found anywhere. Nope. Get to get in there, you have to back down. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, I, I talked about having a ranged attack. I, for, I forgot I equipped the kitty. Yes. Cat power, go! <laughs> You're not normally supposed to be able to do that. That's the infinite magic at work. <laughs> I can't. Taste, pussy! <laughs> Taste, pussy! <laughs> Hey, that's, hey, that's better than Jonathan cream buying everyone. I am not explaining this. If you know, you know. Okay, I say if you know, you know, but everyone makes that fucking joke. You could throw pies. Everyone makes that joke for Portrait of Ruin. You could throw pies in favor of everyone. Yeah. Ow, and back in the day, because of their low cost... Cheat recommended fighting the memory to like. Well, that and because the memory is a memory of the whip, he's weak to dark. The cream pies are considered dark damage. <laughs> because there is no act more evil than cream pieing everyone. <laughs> everyone makes this joke ever. I guess I'll. Yeah, I guess I'll just use one high potion. I used a high potion. Yeah, taste pussy thing. <laughs> Technically, you could, you know, just. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> it... like, this is what happens when you have the chaos ring. Pussy party. Uh, what's that? A child like uh, yourself are doing in a place like this. A child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My uh, name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Why the fuck is the U.S. Army in Japan? Don't answer that. There's a dark joke somewhere in there. Hey, I'm Solma. I, uh, uh Phil is in inspecting a shrine, but sudden, uh, Lair is in a castle. N don't, uh, don't you uh, think that's a, a mean thing to... Uh, to a do to a guy. Uh, so I, uh, I just bail on my mission. Oh, so you're a deserter now? Yeah, basically. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, there were a bunch of uh, a strange people and got a, a shrine. I thought I'd uh, be a good uh, customer, so I uh, opened up shop. You greedy motherfucker. Saw a bunch of people and was like, profit. Uh, He's an American. Good for you. Well, it's one of those, I don't think they ever technically say that he's American, but with his name of Hammer and a design uh, like uh, that, when you look at this in the, you know, perspective of being a Japanese uh, game, of course, he would be American. Uh, there's uh, weapons all over this uh, castle and no uh, monsters at the front gate. A good uh, place for a guy. Uh, uh, come, uh, I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> a shop? Eh, I don't get it. Ooh, I have a, a double jump now. Hey. Duh. And now that I have the double jump I wouldn't see oh wait okay be going around eat pussy feed <laughs> because you see the like the pot roast that the game uh dropped was it was a consumable item uh -huh. So like as the game goes, everybody uh, loves the cat. It actually is a good weapon because, like I said, it is ba yeah, it does deal multiple hits. It's basically the holy water. Oh, I thought cats were an unholy creature. 
Eh? Eh? We all in chaos, I'm allowed to Or make... at least chaotic neutral. We all in chaos, I'm allowed to make this joke. Also notice they come in different sizes. They do? Oh, holy shit, I never noticed! Oh my god! Curse! Okay, okay, normally, <laughs> if you... <laughs> normally, because of the... Sometimes you get a bee, kitty! The reason I never noticed, one, that at Soul ends up outclassed later on in the... The reasons I never noticed are one, that Soul ends up outclassed later on in the game, and two, again, if you, like... We're playing the game normally and didn't have the in-game equipment that gives you infinite magic. You normally can't spam it that much. See, you get different sized cats. You know. And a how an alucard can get pumped up kicks to make him taller. It's a pixel difference, but you can. Oh, why? You keep saying this. Because why? <laughs> like, why would you want something like that? Especially because if it makes you a pixel taller, that means you were just making your hitbox taller with no other benefits. But the funny thing, I don't think it increases the hitbox. That's one of those that would actually piss me off more. <laughs> it, it does make him taller, though. I like the tiny one. I can't tell if they're like. You can actually pay attention to the amount of damage they do. If it's... It does not seem to matter. So I do wonder if because the smaller one is smaller, if the hitbox is actually different. I don't think so. I just noticed <laughs> there were some small kitties. Because you can throw cats at people. Yes. You throw cats at things. <laughs> Damn it! As in a good cat on her what? <laughs> like the crazy cat lady from The Simpsons. Yeah. We all cats. I can make dumb jokes. A oh, heart pin. There. I've uh, a leave. You're wearing that as a equipment. It makes enemies draw hearts more, which would you know in turn refill your magic. But again, infinite magic. So. Because one, yeah, but damage is the same. Because one, the eventually the game, especially if I do primarily until late game when you would naturally get the equipment, have low. Yeah, I can't pick it up. I'm at my limit. Because the. Wait. Anyway, the reason I'm primarily keeping the the infinite magic on is uh, because, well, one, it's uh, to prevent the scenarios of just constantly running back and, and forth, like, before a boss or something to constantly grind, you know, grind out the hearts. It's for that. The other reason is because of things like the flying armor, because that is considered a R ability that... That ability uses the same magic meter, so if I spammed, like, the cats or other magic going through an area to kill, like, annoying to hit enemies, I would get to, like, a... I would get to a section, basically, where you, you need the, like, flying armor. Like, because I now have the double jump, I believe to get in there, I need to double jump and flying armor, so it's like if I, you know, didn't have the infinite magic... Mm -hmm. And I got it here, I would just have to sit here and just wait for the magic to refill, or again, refill a candle. So like a lot of shit, it's just to save time. Yeah. Because that is a kind of annoying thing with this game is that it all uses the same meter. So because it all uses the same meter, there are, like, points where you do just get to that. 
I do kind of wish they had their own meters. Gonna throw pussies at the bones. Everyone makes these types of jokes all the way. other thing about the cats that's also really funny they run until they hit a wall yeah so if you have it straight away it will hit things off camera yeah like I said uh, like a lot of people will you know you like like the cats for memes because kitty but like it is actually a useful like I said it's actually very useful because it works like holy water it's basically full screen holy water and if you played any previous Castlevania game you uh, know why something like that is good oh they loaded I'm going back to the uh, one save point to one to save but to also again refill my health going back to the past Samurai Jack. Because it's a bit, like... It's, and I don't really like what someone's going to say. There's another reason the, like... There's another reason why you don't really have a lot of normal healing items and shit, but something I was, I'm going to try to do for the most part until I get to very late game is to again try and keep some level of challenge, quote unquote. I'm not going to try to use uh, souls like after a, a point, like before a point where you could get them. So if you uh, if I encounter an enemy that gives that type of uh, a soul, you could theoretically, you know, grind to. You could theoretically grind to get uh. it. So because you could theoretically. Damn. It. Ah, I can't make that. Damn it. Yet. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm dying. <coughs> <coughs> Because, like, if you either do RNG manipulation or do get Stupid Lucky, you can get Creaking Skull off the first encounter with that enemy. And in this version specifically, you can save state until you get it? You know. And just mess around. That's another thing in this uh, version, because I did this a... A lot. The game, unless you're doing, you know, RNG manipulation shit, the game rolls it whenever you kill an enemy. So, like, if you wanted something, I could keep just, like... You could kill the guy! I could keep doing this. Yes. I'm not going to do it till he spits uh, that out, because I already have, you know... So you can just fight the first boss, kill it, and rewind till yes. you win. Though, that gets to one of the other, like, problems with this game, and why I think you should not go after all of the souls on a first... A playthrough and that's uh, and this wasn't fixed in this version it's kind of annoying the luck stat in this a uh, game in all of the Game Boy games in fact because I believe they all use the same, same engine yes. is notoriously bugged where well people will say that it's bugged and doesn't work that's technically not true what it is the luck stat does work it's just the percentages at which it goes up are so minuscule, it basically doesn't make a difference. Or you need like 30 levels for it to make a difference. I believe it takes like 3 or 4 levels for it to literally go up 1%. Or something like that. It's pretty much non-existent. Yeah. And this is the... And this is the first of the... Warp uh, rooms that let you, you know, warp. Thanks, to Satan. <laughs> let you warp to different parts of the castle. So yeah, we're now back to the beginning, and because we're now back to uh, to the beginning, I'm well, I'm going to go up here to get the like extra map. Besides the extra map, you'll notice hammers there, and because hammers there, going to show a glitch also because I'm going to show a, a glitch off we save state right here and uh, is this uh, where you open uh, your shop uh, yes it is by uh, the way that cute young lady over there is she staring at uh, you is she your friend I don't know is she your friend did they misspell your oh yeah they did like I said see the game has a bunch of typos in it no. 
Or is he doing a weird accent? Thing? I think the they're doing Y E R to do like southerny because he's American. I could believe that. I had no idea you're so popular with ladies. Hey, it's not like that. Yeah, help me shine now. In yeah, the, see, you here. So. Yeah. It's time for the question of the day. And my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, what is your opinion on the student witch soul? Like Carson said, early on in the game, it can be incredibly useful, but I also think it can be useful later on in the game as well, but I will admit, later on, the damage isn't the best. And Curzon can only spam the soul because of the one ring that grants unlimited magic since this is a new game plus run. So, overall, I still think this soul is pretty good. Because it hits multiple times, it goes across the ground until it hits a wall, and outside of that, it doesn't really cost that much magic when you're playing the game normally, so it's a surprisingly decent attack, all things considered, and it's not that hard to get. Because you can get it pretty early on in the game. But anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord links, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So... As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody. I hope you'll come back someday. See you later.